We're very excited to share this next story with all our viewers this week on the four and other news eight broadcast. We're talking about Nathan Harrison, San Diego's first black homesteader. Harrison was brought west from Kentucky as a slave in the late 1800s and ended up making his permanent home on top of Palomar Mountain. Archaeologist Seth Malwa uh, discovered Harrison's Mali Malios, excuse me, Seth Malios discovered Harrison's cabin in 2004 and over the years has uncovered 50,000 artifacts. Uh, San Diego History Center has a new exhibit on Harrison and as Malios continues his dig on Palomar Martin, he's going to join us live on the fort to talk about the cabin, the road leading up to it and how he found it. Seth, welcome to the fort. Thanks so much and, and welcome to the big dig. Of all the places that Harrison could have built his cabin on Palomar Mountain, I mean, th this is a place where you can you can see the Pacific Ocean on a clear day, you can see Tijuana, Tijuana. He built it here at a place that doesn't have a very scenic view. It's not very flat and it's hidden away. The view you're looking at right now is through the chimney. The front door actually faces the opposite direction, but that was the key to this site. It was a place where Harrison could interact with people that he wanted to because there's a Native American trail that goes by it, because there's the road that brought tourists up the road. Um, that's close by, but at the same time, if he didn't want to interact with you, it was easy for him to get away. Now, one of the more interesting and largest finds from the site was this whiteware pitcher that we found here in the corner of the cabin. And this leads to a discussion of the different activity areas at the site. We can pass through the cabin that I'd like to emphasize was buried in three feet of dirt and waist high weeds when we first came here. You can pass through the doorway where you can see the actual sill and door cut into the main patio area. And this was an area where Harrison was canning goods, baking goods. He was skinning different animals as well. And when he was done with those activities, he would simply throw his garbage into the trash pit. And that's where this gets really fun and exciting because you know what? That trash pit keeps going. We've been doing this project for over 15 years and the scatter keeps going. And we're now up to 50,000 artifacts. And one of the stunning artifacts from last week was something that matched up really nicely with our old friend, the whiteware pitcher. Shaley, could you join me over here? Seth, so, so who's, who's working with you here, Seth? Who are all these people that are working right now? These are San Diego State students. And the great thing about this is this is a course, but it's also their chance to do real archaeology. And so you have Chaley Gibbs, who's a new graduate student in the San Diego State program. And she was working there in Unit 110 when she found a piece that matches up with the whiteware pitcher. So check that out. So 50. And that is something that links together the different areas of. Uh, 50,000 pieces. Isn't that amazing, Carla, the way it matches up? It is amazing. And, and this yeah. is just and, another piece. And some of the, <laughs> some of the artifacts are, are really large, like this whiteware pitcher. And at the same time, we find tiny buttons all the time that go specifically to Harrison's daily life. We find cattle bones, sheep bones, meat cans, whiskey bottles, you name it. Every aspect of daily life shows up here at the site. Seth, is it, as an archaeologist, the intimate level you're getting to know this man, that has to be very rewarding. You're learning just details about everything from where he lived to what he wore day in, day out, to what he ate. You're absolutely right. And, and the big part of it, too, is we live here on the site as we dig. So we're staying up on Palomar Mountain for this three-week field program. And what's crazy is last week, the temperature dipped into the 30s. You know, tomorrow it's going to be almost 100. And so living here gives us that feel for what it would have been like for Harrison to battle the elements and we'll, um, that Seth, have high highs and low lows. And Seth, we'll be checking in with you tomorrow and I believe all week to learn a little bit more about this dig, to live it with you a little bit. Thank you for your time, Seth Malios. Today, we're going to tell people more about the nation. Nathan Harrison exhibit. It's at the San Diego History Center in Balboa Park. It's now open. You can visit Friday, Saturday, and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 